Tonight on Dog Eat Dog, someone's gonna get yanked. Welcome to Dog Eat Dog. Tonight, any of our six contestants could win $25,000. But to do so, they have to exploit everything they know about their opponents. Yesterday, we sent them away to camp where they saw each other in action. Think of it as getting to know your enemies, or at least what they've chosen to reveal. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Wait, 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 come back this way. Well, maybe I'll just go this way. I think the group is a little intimidated, a little worried, especially the ladies, because I'm, you know, I'm all about business. They go by Johnny Boom Boom. It's more like to see a 100% determined guy who will fight in nothing to get to where he has to be, and that's going to be the number one guy at the end. Thanks for being nice about it anyway. Yeah. I definitely have what it takes as far as durability, and hopefully that'll bring me through. I'm confident that it will. You're almost done, girl. They all think I'm super buddy-buddy friendly with them. I realize I don't know these people. I don't even know who the hell they are. I'm not going to see them again. I'm here to win. I'm here for the money and here to win. I just work out. I don't do anything athletically. Tomorrow, I would love to go up against a guy, because when I win, I will kill his ego. So I'm paying the cost to be the boss up in this piece. I'm, I'm all up in you like fatty asses. You hear what I'm saying? I'm pulling around up in your cerebrum. You're like, wow, here's Chicago. And I'm busting out like the alien. Go, girl. Welcome to the show, you guys. Here's how the game works. In each round, I'll show you a challenge. Then you guys vote for the person that you think is most likely to fail. Whoever gets the most votes has to beat the challenge or end up in the dog pound. If you do beat the challenge, then it gets fun, it's time for revenge because you can send anyone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Got it? Got it. Got it. All right, our first stunt tonight is called Ratchet Roulette. We're gonna show you a pattern of lights. All you have to do is duplicate it, but be careful. Every time you make a mistake, we're gonna toss you into the tank, dog eat dog style. Who here is least likely to remember? It's time to choose the loser. We're about to test someone's memory. Let's find out who you've chosen. First up tonight is Tracy. Chicago, why'd you vote for Tracy? Well, you know, Chase. Tracy, I mean, you know, she, she's, when it comes to physical challenges, she can do it, I think, you know, because she does have the will, but, you know, I'm just going with the, what they always say, you know, blind, you know, oh. right? I don't know what to say. I, you what know do you mean, what as they always say? What do you say? Yeah. I'd like to know, Chicago, what you think about blondes. Yeah, you know, I, think blondes. Blondes. I think blondes are just so fine. I mean, uh -huh. you know, I, I just, you know what it is. You want to know the it? truth. I'd like to know the truth. I had to pick somebody, and I'm like, she was the one right here, so I just put her down. And what do you think? Do you think you have a good memory? I do. I do have a good memory. Yeah, and I'm actually, um, I have a photographic memory. So. You do? And I didn't mention that yesterday at camp, so. Oh, that's a good thing to, uh, to discover right now about you. All right, Tracy, let's put that photographic memory to the test. Are you ready to get all harnessed up? Ready. All right, please take a walk. Get ready for your challenge. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you a sequence of 10 lights. All you have to do is repeat that sequence perfectly and you win. But remember, every time you make a mistake, we're gonna throw you backwards into our tank. If you do come back to the podium again, we're gonna give you another crack at it, exactly the same sequence. You'll have five total chances to win. Otherwise, you're off to the dog pound. Got it? Got it. All right, <laughs> time to take a photograph, Tracy. Let's show her the sequence. Whenever you're ready. Come on, girl. Do that thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 
never done something like that before, have you, Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> I know, I'm like, whoa, that totally took you by surprise. <laughs> now remember, Tracy, we're gonna show you the same sequence again, so really focus and concentrate, okay? Got it. Are you ready? Ready. Let's show her the sequence again. Yeah, yeah girl, come on now, you know what to do. Up in this piece, come on, yeah, 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 you're feeling me, you're feeling me. Come on. Put your hand, pick your hands up. Come on. Girl, come on, girl. Go ahead and mess it on up. Here she uh -huh. goes. Let's do the thing. Let's do this. She's uh -huh, got three, uh -huh. four. Keep pushing. Yeah, keep pushing that thing. Five. Keep pushing that thing. Keep pushing that six, thing. Seven. Oh, girl. Eight. Oh. So close that time. That's right, you have three chances left. So are you ready to see the sequence again? Ready. All right, focus, good luck. Man, look. <laughs> Concentrate Here on it me, is. girl. Concentrate on me. I'm the man for you. I'm the man for you, girl. Look, check it out, look. Hey, dig this. This is what I'm talking about. You gotta make sure that you mess it up, all right? So feel me, come on now. I'm in danger over here. Put your hand, pick your hands up. You got it, girl, you got it, girl. Come on, girl, go ahead and mess it on up. Uh -oh. Whenever you're ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think you're scared now. You're feeling me, girl. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. You're scared. <laughs> She's focused. Oh, no. Girl, just this. push, just push a button, man. <laughs> she might Come on, man. Nah, you're doing it. Come on, you know what to do. You know what not to do. You scared of me. You feel me. I intimidate everybody on this board. Just going I, in. Because the, the first two times I, w I tried to do it too fast, so I just remembered it. I, like I said, I have a photographic memory, so I pictured it in my head over and over before I did it the last time, and then boom, I got it. Oh my God. Memory, baby. Blind you girl. Yeah. That's for the blondes. Yeah. That one's for the blondes, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know what this means. Someone's going to the dog pound first, but it's not going to be you. Your choice is between Chicago, Latin, and Jalicia. Who's going to be first to the dog pound? Chicago's got to go. Chicago? Congratulations, Tracy. You proved these guys wrong. Let's say that's a victory for the blondes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> for both of us. All right, let's find out who's going to be joining Chicago in the dog pound. She coming right over here next to Daddy. What are you talking about that? Probably huh? big dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, our next challenge tonight is called the water beam, and it's located right over there. One of you is going to have to balance your way across that beam in our tank, and as you can see, those water jets will be trying to knock you off. Who here has trouble staying on their feet? It's time to choose the loser. Someone here is going to get soaked when we return to Doggy Dog. Yeah.